Before we even got up on the satellite in 76, in 75, while I was thinking, while I was planning to go on the satellite, even before we got the permits and anything, I said, once again, I was thinking ahead, I said, you know what? There was no ESPN, there were, were no other cable networks at that time except HBO, which was running the new movies. You had the major sporting events on NBC, CBS, and, and uh, ABC, and you had the old movies and more baseball games on, uh, on TBS, and we had basketball. And I, I was thinking to myself, I said, what would be the next channel? You know, trying to think of what would be next. I had been in radio, I was still in radio at that time, I still had those radio stations. And I, even though I didn't have any all news stations, uh, I knew there were all news stations in New York and LA already, radio stations, and it, it just hit me right in the face that the next best thing, this was in 74 or 75, would be a 24 hour news channel, a news channel that was available all the time. Why 24 hours instead of 15? Because you go into seven time zones, I knew that, you've got four time zones on the continental United States, and Two hours later, you got Alaska and Hawaii. So you, that's six hours right there. So midnight is 6 a.m. in the morning. You got to be on 24 hours a day uh, if you're going to cover cover the whole uh, cover the whole country from Hawaii to to Maine. I said somebody's got to do it, and I figured if nobody else would do it, there was an opportunity there. I really believed in it. I've been thinking about it for five or six years, and uh, I've just about. I was just about to make a success out of the Superstation. It was the advertisers were beginning to come on board. And I said, this is, I knew it was going to work. To my competitors, still didn't think it was going to work. They thought, but I could feel, I, you know, I was close to it. I could feel the walls were shaking and they were going to fall down. That I had to build up enough pressure on it, like an earthquake, to where <laughs> it was going to, it was going to, it was going to work. And I was ready to take another chance. And this was, the third big risk I took financially because I did not have enough money to do it. I, 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 I sold my station to Westinghouse in Charlotte for $20 million. I had about one in it. So I'd already made a small fortune there. Got 20 big ones for it, and that was the money to start CNN. I didn't know what it was going to cost. I mean, we, I, you know, but, but we, I said we're going to start in 11 months when I made the decision. We're going to start on June 1st. And, uh, we got to have the equipment ordered in 30 days, and then we got to start getting bureaus, and we got to rent property, and uh, you know we got to have it all hooked up with microwaves so we can get the stories out to the satellites, so we can bring it into Atlanta, and so we can then we got to get it out. And, I mean, it was, and and we did it in in 11 months. The whole thing it was about looking back at it, it was just impossible that we did it, but we did.